Hello friends, we are going to learn basic concepts of concepts of operate, operating system like paging, segmentation, virtual memory and threshing. So what is the basic fundamental property of an execution of an, any program? Program is executed only when it is transferred from secondary memory to primary memory or RAM or main memory. Execution of any program occurs when they are present in main memory. So here as you can see P1, P2, P3 these are different instruction codes or programs. They will not be executed when they are on, uh, only present in secondary memory. They can't be itself executed when they are only present in secondary memory. They can be in ready state and they needs to be allocated in primary memory. So execution of any programs occur when, only occur when they are only present in RAM or primary memory. Okay. So these are these programs when they are loaded in primary memory their execution is known as process process is technical term which we used in operating system. So here is a scenario where secondary memory contains a 5 KB process tool. This is our just assumption. Suppose our main memory is of 10 KB in size. So here is 10 KB blocks where 4 KB, blo uh, 4 KB block and the total means total 8 KB blocks are free here 4 KB and here 4 KB total 4 KB uh, total 8 KB blocks are free and 2 KB block or 2 KB memory space is occupied by process 1 okay and here 5 KB process 2 is waiting or it in it is in ready state and it is waiting for the allocation of memory in primary memory so by general concept it has total 8 KB memory primary memory contains 8 KB memory so and our process 2 only requires 5 KB so it will definitely get a, a memory space in primary memory so it will occur only when there is a concept of non-contiguous memory location this will not be possible if it is the con if it is following the concept of contiguous memory location according to according to contiguous memory location 5 KB process 2 will be allocated to primary memory only when there is the free memory space or contiguous 5 KB free memory space then only process 2 will be allocated to primary memory but here only 4 KB is contiguous free space available so 5 KB process cannot be moved to primary memory or RAM so in order to deal with we have used the concept of paging of paging is the concept which deals with the problem and above problem above problem is known as external fragmentation where the available process needs to wait for the contiguous memory location or contiguous memory space in primary memory this problem is known as external fragmentation so paging deals with it so what is the basic concept of paging actually in paging secondary memory is divided into equal number of fragments or uniform blocks which have equal size here we have assumed pages of 1 KB and primary memory is also divided into equal number of fragments where each segment has size equal to the size of this fragment and the and we call the fragments of secondary memory as pages and segments of primary memory as frames so secondary memory is divided into equal number of blocks which are called pages of uniform size and primary memory is divided into equal number of fragments these are known as frames and frame size is equal to the size of page and this concept concept is known as paging so this is our scenario where secondary memory contains process p2 which has 5 kb size and process p1 is occupying 2 kb memory space or two frames in main memory or primary memory so if we follow the concept of non contiguous memory location these 5 kb blocks or pages actually process is divided into five uh, process is divided into number of pages so here process p2 is divided into five pages so process p2 has to process p2 is in ready state and it is waiting for the memory location in primary memory so process p2 will be easily it will easily get memory space or frames available in primary memory because it is now following the concept of concept of 
non contiguous memory location as we have divided all the memory into equal number of fragments so process p2 will occupy four uh, process p2 will occupy four frames here and one frame here as you can see so it solves our problem so paging basically deals with this problem so now p2 is available to have memory allocation in primary memory so it will execute it is ta its task now there is something called segmentation segmentation versus paging paging is basically physical division of the memory and segmentation is logical division of memory what does it mean paging never cares about what is actually present in instruction or program it is just physical div division suppose if our program contains loop or recursion codes so they need to be kept together in memory so segmentation deals with that segmentation is logical division of program together rather than having fixed pages sizes so they have in uh, in order to maintain logic divisions segment segment uh, segment size can be varied also so, so it is clear that segment size cannot be uniform it may have different sizes also so but in paging pages have always equal sizes so now we move to some concept called virtual memory uh, we look the concept why virtual memory is demand or why it is needed okay here you see that primary memory is completely filled with different process or pages which are executing in it so here you can see p2 program is executing in primary memory p1 is already executing in it and p3 something called something new program came uh, come so p3 is also executing in it so there is no free memory location here and here p4 p4 program it's waiting or it is in ready it is in ready it and it is waiting for the primary memory to allocate free space to it because p4 needs to be execute executed immediately and p4 is waiting for the memory location in primary memory but here you can see p2 p1 and p3 are different programs which and which has occupied the memory blocks in primary memory or you can say frames in primary memory and here three pages are still waiting for it so there is some problem so this here we use the concept of virtual memory where some part of or you can say some part of code or section of program from main memory or ram which is moved to hard disk then hard disk is known as virtual memory one of the solution is to move some section of program which are being used in ram to hard disk that is known as virtual memory that this would free space in ram for another program to use here hard disk is called virtual memory okay as you can see p3 is now going to take sacrifice oh no it is not just sacrifice p3 is just temporarily shifted to hard disk because p4 needs to execute it p4 needs to be executed immediately so it requires primary memory and p3 will move to hard disk okay so hard disk is here virtual memory okay now you can see p4 is p4 has occupied memory space leave, uh, left by p3 now p2 p1 and p4 are executing in primary memory now a situation can come when a situation can come that p3 which has been shifted to hard disk needs to be moved again to primary memory because it needs to execute again it needs to be executed again or it is urgent so that will be moved moved back from hard disk or virtual memory to primary memory and that is known as threshing so first of all we look some concept of or some key points of virtual memory a computer can address more memory than the amount physically stored on the system that extra memory is known as virtual memory and it is a section of hard disk that is set up to emulate the computer's ram okay so we will move to this stretching as you can uh, as i have told that consecutive moving of data in and out from hard disk or from my primary memory this is known as this threshing actually this threshing if this concept mainly 
declares that the process 